Hi everyone, welcome. In this session, we're going to be looking at loosening up tightness in shoulders and neck. Often we hold a lot of tension in the upper back, in the neck, in the shoulders. And apart from being very painful, it also restricts blood flow through to the brain. So great value in loosening up. Find your mat and let's get ready. So find yourself a comfortable seated position on the mat. I'm just doing plain old cross leg today. You might want to stretch out your legs in front of you. You could also kneel or perhaps you want to sit on a block. Sitting on a block just lifts the sit bones away from the mat and it alleviates tightness that we might be holding in the hip flexors and the hip joints. So wherever you are, let's turn the palms of the hands to face up to the ceiling. Choose whether you want to leave your hands open or perhaps touch the tips of the index finger and thumb together in a mudra, Gyana mudra, just really signifies the closing of an energy loop. And we close the eyes, become aware of the breath, start deepening the inhale, gently release on the exhale, not forcing anything on the exhale. And then we start lifting through the spine, lengthen the back of the neck. And become aware of where the two sit bones touch down on your mat, perhaps on your block. And run the awareness from the top of the head, the crown of the head, all the way down the back of the neck, back, upper back, mid back, lower back, down to the sacrum. And then join me in four rounds of a very simple box breathing. And we'll do the five box breath again today. So it's in for five, hold for five, out for five, and hold on empty for five. Now all the while, whilst we're breathing, make sure the shoulders are relaxed. So shoulders are away from the ears. Keep that space between shoulders and ears. And let's get ready, emptying the lungs and breathing for one, two, three, four, and fill the lungs and hold, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, empty completely, and hold, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, and fill the lungs and hold, two, Make sure that the shoulders are relaxed. And five, and exhale, two, three, four, and empty completely, and hold on empty, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, and fill the lungs more than before, and hold, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five and hold on empty two drawing calm dark side waste products out the lungs breathe in two it's the last round make it a good one four and five and hold on full two portion of oxygen into the bloodstream five and exhale two three four five and hold on empty two three four five breathe normally Keep the eyes closed and gently start dropping the chin all the way down to the chest. Try and put that chin on the chest. Hold for a breath and gently start moving the chin all the way up to the ceiling, 180 degrees, half circle we're drawing with the chin. Allow that chin to point straight up at the ceiling, soften the neck, allow the head to be heavy and a hang on top of the shoulders. Again, move the chin all the way down to the chest. Slow movement. Our neck is still quite cold early on in the session, so we're working gently with the neck. And allow the head to hang again. Try and make the double chin, putting the chin closer to the chest. And again, move the chin all the way up to the ceiling, drawing that half circle again. And now soften the neck once more. Allow the head to be heavy. Lift through the spine. 
Feel that stretch on the front skin of the neck. Gently start moving the chin back to parallel to floor and we open the eyes. We're going to come onto all fours. So we're aiming to find that perfect box position on the mat. 90 degree angle between forearm and mat, 90 degree angle between thigh and mat. We spread the fingers wide, gives you a bigger surface area and it makes for increased stability. And get ready for a few rounds of cow and cat. So we drop the navel into cow, stick out the sit bones high, gently lift the gaze, roll the eyeballs up to the ceiling, feel those eye muscles stretching, and reverse direction into cat. Pulling the navel to spine, drop the crown of the head to point down to the mat, tuck the tailbone under, arch the upper back, and again release into another slow cow. So this time, once you've got your position, feel that arch in the lower back. Pull the shoulder blades together, create compression between the shoulder blades. And reverse into another angry cat. And this time we're going to try and put that chin on the chest, tuck the tailbone under. And pull the shoulder blades away from one another on the back. It's almost painful and release into flat back and we're going to push the body back into child's pose so actively push on the hands get those heels and sit bones as close together as you can and only then start sliding the hands forward and then drop the forehead down to the floor and we're going to hold for five resting breaths Really and lift the head and find your good alignment again in your box position. And get ready for four rounds of cow and cat using the breath. So we're going to move on the rhythm of the breath. And if you breathe faster than I do, follow your own rhythm. So emptying the lungs, we're going to breathe in on cow. So Dropping into car and filling the lungs. Look up at the ceiling. And now empty the lungs on cat as you breathe out. Tuck the chin. Breathe in on car. Fill the lungs. Pull the shoulder blades together and exhale on cat. Chin on chest. Tuck the tailbone. Pull the shoulder blades away from one another. Inhale on car. And really get into that lower back arch stick the sit bones high squeeze the shoulder blades exhale on cat tuck the chin inhale on calm making it fluid graceful movements filling the lungs exhale on cat now really try and arch the upper back a little more than before emptying the lungs Last round, inhale on cow. Stick the sit bones high, roll the eyeballs, and exhale on cat. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, and gently release into flat back. Again, we're gonna push back into child, but this time into wide-legged child. So big toes touching, move the knees as wide apart as your hips allow actively press on the hands get those sit bones onto the heels and then slide the hands forward draping the chest upper back onto the floor and then rest on the chin or rest on the forehead and we're going to hold for five breaths here being aware of the intense opening in the shoulders the intense opening in the hips, opening of the sacrum, one more breath. Get ready, press the body back onto all fours and we're going to come to sit on our haunches. So sitting up right with the back, lengthening through the spine, lengthen the back of the neck. We're going to do shoulder rolls to the back. So use whatever you've got in the upper body, your elbows, your arms, your neck, 
to really get movement into the shoulder blades and then reverse direction three shoulder rolls in the opposite direction we want to get movement into the shoulder blades so do whatever it takes feel those shoulder blades moving on the back and come to a still again we're going to drop the chin all the way to the chest this time interlace the fingers behind the head position them so to put a bit of additional pressure increasing the bend in the neck and then move the elbows together in front of the forehead and gently release moving the chin all the way up to the ceiling and this time when we've got our chin pointing up to the ceiling we're going to stick out the lower jaw up to the ceiling like this make a fish pout mouth don't worry no one's looking Feel that skin on the front neck stretching. And let's do shape the lips in the letter O and A. And feel how the ligaments are pulling. And O, lift your lower jaw. And A, and release the mouth. Gently move the chin all the way down to the chest again. Keep the lift through the spine. Soften the neck. Allow the head to be heavy. Interlace the fingers again, but this time put the other little finger on the outside. And then again, exert an additional bit of pressure behind the neck. Remember, this is safe. There's no jerking, small range of motion. And then move the elbows together. Try and touch the elbows in front of the forehead and gently release. Move the chin all the way up to the ceiling again. Once you have your position, soften the neck, allow that head to just hang heavily. And now again, push the lower jaw up to the ceiling like this. And let's do the vocals. Oh, and every time you do a shape, push the lower jaw up as you close the vocal. And A, and O, keeping that neck supple. And A, and soften the jaw, relax the mouth. Gently move the head back to parallel to floor and get ready for another three shoulder rolls. Back and in the opposite direction. So here we go. Pull the shoulders high up to the ears, moving the shoulder blades as we go round in the circles. Awesome. Really get into it and reverse direction, opposite direction. Getting the shoulder blades moving on the back. Beautiful, getting circulation, going between the shoulder blades and bring the body to a still. Now we're gonna come onto all fours once again. Adjust your position to have the good alignment and we're gonna thread our right hand underneath the left. So here we go, thread the right underneath the left, push the right shoulder joint onto the mat, right cheek, right ear onto the mat. And now lifting that left arm, all the way up to the ceiling and now take your hand your right hand that's on the floor and push this left shoulder back feel how the shoulder blades are compressing and we hold this for five and four and three and two and one release that right hand gently bring down that left hand Push with the left hand on the mat next to the nose and we're back on all fours and a gentle drop into cow and into cat, reverse direction and we meet in flat back, get ready to repeat on the other side. So threading left arm underneath, left shoulder joint onto mat, left cheek and left ear onto mat. And I allow that right arm to float up to the ceiling. And this time we're taking the left hand from the floor. Push that right shoulder back. And again, feel the compression happening in the, in the upper back. And we hold. Another breath. And release. Gently lower your right hand. Push on the mat next to nose and bring the body back onto all fours. Again, we sit back into wide-legged child. So keep the big toes in contact. Move the knees wide. Push the sit bones onto the heels. And then 
allow the hands to slide forward, draping the chest all the way down to the mat. And if you're not this low today, it doesn't matter. Even if you are here and you can go no further, that area or that moment where your body feels a challenge, that is where the good work is happening. So wherever you are, let's hold for another three and two and one. Gently lift the body, draw the hands back, keep the knees wide and we're going to sit on our heels. So from here, we're going to interlace the fingers and we're going to turn the palms all the way up to the ceiling. Try and get that flat top. on the upside of the hands. And now let's pull the shoulders up to the ears. Hold for three and two. Flex into the hands and one. Gently push the shoulders down as far as you can without bending the arms. We don't want to bend the arms here, so keep the arms straight. And hold for three and two and one. And gently open the hands. Give yourself a big hug. See how far you can clasp your hands round your back. And then drop the head, soften the neck, allow the head to hang. Lifting the head, opening the arms all the way to interlace above the head again. Again, put the other little finger on the outside and then turn the palms of the hands again to face up to the ceiling. Get that flat top on top of the hands, pressing into the heels of the hands. We're gonna lift the shoulders, so the shoulders are touching the ears if you can. And we're gonna hold for three and two, and feel the stretch in the wrists, and one. Gently lower the shoulders as far away from the ears as you can. And we hold for three and two, and one, release the hands. And again, clasp your arms round the back. Try and put the other arm on top now. Moving the hands as far behind you as you can. And then again, soften the neck, allow the head to hang. Soften shoulders here as well. And gently lift the head. Come back to neutral, moving the knees in to midline. So let's turn to find a comfortable seated position again on the mat. Remember, you are always welcome to stretch the legs out in front of you if you don't, if you prefer not sitting cross-legged. Totally up to you. And also in straight leg, you could choose to sit on a block or a book or so just to lift those sit bones away from the floor. If, however, you've got crossed legs, whether the normal crossed leg or fire lock position with the shins parallel to one another, or maybe half lotus, maybe you're in full lotus, and cross your legs now and cross them the other way. It's really just to balance the brain and bring that balance back into the body, which yoga strives for through doing the asana on both sides. And then we get ready, we stretch our arms to either side. We're going to drop the left underneath first. So keep the arms straight here and cross them deeply. We're going into eagle arms. And the deeper you cross them here, the easier it is to do. So without flipping the palms, without moving the palms, we bend the arms and we bring the backs of the hands together. And we take that top hand, move it forward. Now clasp it round the other way, on the other side of the bottom hand. Spread the fingers of the top hand, that's the crown of the eagle. And then we get ready. We're going to make sure that our shoulders are away from the ears, so drop them away from the ears. And then we lift the elbows into the sky. Just turn slightly sideways here to illustrate, demonstrate. So lifting elbows away from the floor and move the hands away from the face. Take deep breaths of air. We need lots of oxygen during stretching. And then again, lift the elbows away from the floor. Move the hands away from the face and we hold for breath and gently release. 
Well done. Three shoulder rolls to the back and make them big ones again. Use the whole of the upper body, the neck, the elbows to achieve this and reverse direction. In the opposite side we go and feel how the shoulder blades pull away from one another and compress and then soften out the arms, lifting through the spine. Outstretch the arms again to the sides and now we drop the other arm, the right arm below. Again, cross deeply. The deeper you cross here, the easier it is. If we only have a, a fraction of a crossing over and we start bending the elbows, it, it's really not getting into, not giving the body any benefit. So cross the arms deep and then again bend the arms so the backs of the hands touch. Top hand moves forward, clasps round the other side. Spread the fingers of the top hand crown of the eagle and then get ready make sure shoulders are relaxed away from the ears and we lift you through the spine throughout so don't allow a slouch to happen sitting upright gentle strength there in the core and the back and we lift the elbows away from the from the mat and we move the hands away from the face and again, lift the elbows a little higher away from the mat. Breathe into the shoulders and the upper back. And move the hands away from the face, even if it's just a millimeter. And hold for a breath. In through the nose, out through the nose, and gently undo the hands, undo the arms. Three shoulder rolls to the back. Make them big, really get into every nook and cranny there between the shoulder blades and reverse direction. Compressing shoulder blades, moving them away from one another. And bring the body to a still. And with this, we're gonna get ready for Shavasana. The straightening out the legs on the mat. Got some beautiful sunshine falling in through the window here. Lie back. Find your symmetry on the mat. Turn the palms of the hands to face up. Arms are away from the body, not too far away. We don't want the arms to get cold. And flop the feet out to the sides. Move the shoulders away from the ears again. So dropping the shoulders lower down, creating more space between shoulder and ear. And then soften the body, soften all the areas that have been working now, shoulders, neck, shoulder blades, upper back. Allow the upper back to be heavy and rest on the mat through the shoulder blades. Allow the pelvis to be heavy, resting on the mat through where it makes contact with the glutes. Allow the head to be heavy. Just finding that calm, still place within self. When you're ready to come out of Shavasana, turn the head to face the one way, putting the one ear down onto the mat. Then soften the neck rest the head and then working gently with the neck turn the head the other way putting the other ear down onto the mat soften the neck allow the head to rest and then gently turn the head back to symmetry nose pointing straight up to the ceiling or the sky and when you're ready draw the knees into the chest Grip the shins and lie in a little ball for a few breaths. Become aware of all four corners of the back in full contact with the mat. And then when you're ready, roll the body over to the right. Bend your right arm to use as a support underneath the head. We lie in fetal position for but a moment and just savor the wellness in the body. I 
and then press with the hands on the mat, keeping the eyes closed if you can. Find your comfortable seated position on the mat again. And we bring our hands together in prayer in front of the chest. Lifting through the spine, lengthen the back of the neck. Taking a deep breath of oxygenated air again. Gently releasing through the nose. And it's find that place of gratitude inside ourselves. In whose presence no worry, no fear, no angst, no jealousy, no anger can survive. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for the practice and may you have very happy shoulders today.